Is it like um Keanu uh, Reeves what? and Patrick Swayze were the stars in the movie? If I saw it, I probably wouldn't know, but I love Patrick Swayze. I I want to fuck that man so bad. I know he's dead, but shit. Yeah, because of pancreatic pancreatic cancer. I that really, really am. Fine. That was still like the most tragic death that ever happened in Hollywood. Like out of all people, Patrick fucking Swayze. I know. I still remember when they released the documentary about him, and I expected it. I had a very bad inkling feeling that it was going to be like the Leaving Neverland documentary on Michael Jackson, but cue my surprise, it was a documentary just simply talking about how much of an awesome and nice guy he was. He's just, he was such a badass actor, like, say what you will about Roadhouse. I fucking loved Roadhouse. Oh, for no. me, it was Ghost. I always remembered him for Ghost. Oh, I okay, I, I, I I was about to mention Dirty Dancing. Like, that's how I was in. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> I mean, Dirty Dancing, good good movie, but Ghost? Oh. Ghost had a very interesting twist of a story. Actually, one of the she things. She literally I... got hot on a fucking entity. She what? She literally wanted to bang the entity. I know it was a guy, I believe, that lost, that she lost, but, like, it was literally, like, Smexy Ghost time. <laughs> oh yeah, because yeah. like he was in the possession of Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, he was. Oh. <laughs> when you put it that way, yeah. I also want to mention with Ghost, I love how terrifying, how punishing it was if he did some wrong things and he saw in the afterlife because he see those shadows come into life and they drag you into non-existence. God, those things were terrifying. But I just like the, the creepy nature of just life after death like you either get dragged to hell by these hellish demons or you're stuck in a perpetual state where you cannot move on no just like what the happens very thought of it like you just see them come up and they're like God, those, that sound effects are terrifying apparently it's said that they're uh they're baby cry sound effects but they're reversed and slowed down which just makes it even more creepy and you see the guys go like help me ah! <laughs> And there's like this hey, weird eerie sound to it. The way that people made 80s movies back then needs to really make a comeback. It yeah, really they, Yeah, it, they do. Uh, we're, yeah. we're talking about like the charm of 80s effects and such and how they were done and how like despite how dated they look, there's still an effect on how you feel. I um, mean, that's why... Well, but, like particularly we were talking about um, a Ghost. And um, uh, the Patrick Swayze movie, the shadow demons like dragging somebody into like a like to non-existence, or I think it was hell or non-existence. Either way, it, it's a good movie still, regardless. I am the winner, and I think it was still one of Patrick Swayze's like great roles next to uh, Dirty Dancing and such. Dirty Dancing definitely got him a big one. Oh, uh, go ahead, Riley. Yeah. I remember my mom liked both those movies because she had a crush on, crush on Patrick Swayze. Oh, dude, Did you my mom. Blame her? No. My mom <laughs> loved Patrick Swayze, and she still loves his movies. And I think she, um, when I told her about the documentary, she said she was going to go up and watch it, too. Riley. Yeah? We have Marvin the Martian. Marvin the Martian. Also, Riley, Kitty has not yeah. seen Point Break yet. Um. I don't think I've seen that either. Oh my Movie God. night. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Oh, I think. I think another I'm reason why watching, I don't mind, but I can't wait to see you guys react to Bikini Beach one and two. That's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> there is one movie I kind of want to see as well with you guys. I mean, it's horror based, but I think the reason why is because it actually has like a seventies, eighties feel to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. it's a horror movie called. Um, Sinka Marink? Marink? Mm hmm Okay. And, and basically, according to what I've read, it's about two kids that wake up in the middle of the night and find that their dad is missing and that the windows and doors of their house have all vanished. What? And the rest of the movie is just very huh. eerie atmosphere. Basically, think of it as Liminal Space, the movie. That is would be really cool. I'm, yeah, I'm the, putting my thing. Um, hold on, I'm fixing something over here. That's why it's so far away. Okay. 
Well, to be fair, the movie is currently, like, it's currently only being shown to, like, indie film festivals, so... I, I had a fix, uh, I don't have a coat hanger or a coat rack, so I take, um, the sticky things on those are removable, like, wall hangers, and I use those as a coat rack. <laughs> My, uh, vintage, uh, winter jacket fell, and I was like, no. Come on no. and slam, and welcome no. to the jam. Welcome well, it, it's real leather. It's real leather, and it has sequins, and it has shoulder pads on it, and it's my favorite jacket. Mm. Okay. Trust me. Come to my closet. I have a whole wardrobe. Oh, also, also chat. Yeah, sorry. I, I should have mentioned this. I did like. I'm not gonna make a movie night on a stream because I'll get in trouble for that shit. Um, no, we're not. Uh, <laughs> you were not that stupid. No. No, sorry, we we, we, we get screwed time. over. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, basically, was... I, like, we, we watch a movie together, like, so, yeah, it's really weird, I remember there was a streamer that I watch a lot, he was, wa he got done watch. he was watching Spongebob on his, on his Twitch stream, but why, though? Because, uh, it was something, like, he got approved for it, I don't know what it was, how did I mean, he got approval, mean? so, that would be, that would make sense, I think it was, I don't remember what it was, hmm, but okay. Also, Kitty, this movie currently isn't out yet. They're just recently just showing it in film festivals. Oh. Yeah, but was... it did finally get real but they did finally show it um to the film festivals in the US, so That reminds me of a movie. So there's a movie. It's called Escape from Tomorrowland or Escape from Tomorrow. Oh, I'm was... I've heard of that one. Yeah, it was all filmed at Disney World Land, and they had to do it in such a way where they wouldn't get caught. And Disney was in a really big pickle about this because they said, well, we can't ban it because that would give more publicity. So they kind of just left it alone. And I think it was shown in theaters and small film festivals. And it's um, it's an interesting concept. Apparently, like, you the dad had, like, illusions or something. That you remember the... Uh... You remember what was it called? The cat pox or whatever the the sickness was they developed in that movie and shit. Uh, that, 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 that's some I've seen that film or at least bits and pieces of it. It's uh, interesting. Uh, I I haven't seen Tomorrowland, but I just know for a fact that it Escape got a huge tomorrow. amount of controversy. Well, except from Tomorrow, all I know is that it got a lot of controversy because the director was, had filmed it in <laughs> Disneyland <laughs> in <laughs> secret. Oh yeah, he used like an SLR camera to film everything, just a regular like. Yeah. Trip oh camera. my god! Apparently, yes, sir. oh shit! Apparently, Point Break is available to watch on Netflix. Oh. Which is ever so convenient. Then Stranger Things is on there. Obviously, mm. it was made. Uh, it was like Str Stranger Things was made for Netflix anyway, but that is perfectly convenient. Yeah. Also, Kitty. Mm hmm. I'm gonna sing. Um. Here's the here's the um the trailer for Skinamaric. Okay, I will check it out. Yeah. Um. From what I've heard, the movie is more like from what I've heard, like people did say that it has good visuals and that it's more of an atmospheric movie than anything else. But it it do, but it does take a long time to get to the points. Hmm. Right. But hey, I oh. love myself some atmospheric horror, so I'm fine with that. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna be a little, uh, what is the term, idle for a bit, because I'm still waiting if anybody wants to, like, make another game. I'm uh, interested in joining if people are, ye. What yeah. are we playing? Um, I'm... Multiverses. Yeah. Uh, I don't have that, but I'll watch. I'm it's gonna... free. Yeah, it's a free game. Wait, it's a free it's game? A free I'm gonna yeah. see if I can get myself a snack or something. Wait, it's a free game. Yeah, it's yeah, a free, free. game. That's oh, the thing shit. that. Oh, oh, yeah, um, Kitty, that's another reason why the game gets so much love. It's free. Where can I find it? Steam. Steam. I'm switching computers. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trifle with a woman who likes video games. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> God, I want to see Skin of Marek so badly. Hey, Marvin. It's already out. It's Marvin out. Martian. It's already on for distribute. It's already being distributed. Well, I hope it's being distributed. 
And it's literally everything I would love in a horror movie, especially with the liminal space shit. I'm gonna poke you, Riley. But why, though? Because it's funny. That's a huge bitch! No. Yes. Not. Cute, no. Not. Bonk. But why, though? Bonk. What I do, though? Because it's funny to bonk you. No bonk. It's funny to bonk Ryza, too, but Ryza just sort of sits on me. You're a monster. He can't do anything to me. He's fine with it. I am. Okay. Kitty I come said back to hear the noise, nut. Kitty's come. Kitty's immediately switching to her other computer after everyone told her that um, the game is free and on Steam. Yeah. I mean, we told her that a few times. She probably wasn't uh, focused. She probably was a little bit distracted. Mm. So, um, I'm still remembering when, um. I was playing, um, what was it? When I was playing uh, Henry Stickman, and I was just completely losing my shit over Charles. I still want to see that soon. Charles I know. and Charge? I'm sorry? Charles and Charge? No! I'm talking about when he took his fucking chopper and he flew directly into the airship. Ah. Uh. I just, I, I just was not expecting that. Oh, <laughs> Angel of Speed wants to join in for uh, a few rounds. I am logging into Steam. Steam! Hang on. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can hear you. Okay, I wasn't sure, because like last couple of times you couldn't hear me, and I figured out why. I had the wrong microphone plugged in. God damn it, I'm trying to... I'll do it. I'm trying to... I really hate that shit. Okay. Um, Angel of Speed, go ahead and just join a random call and I'll just bring you in. Like, I... Like, how many of you even... Uh, how many of you play multiverses? Because I, I would be down for that. This Hello. is the greatest yep. plan. Fail. Or... I am the action bald man. How come Steam is it? Oh, it's. Yo, yeah. Angel. Hey, Ryze, your twisted. Br uh, your. Tw twin brother. I what? Your, your twin brother is here. I can't believe yeah. that slipped. <laughs> Why, hello there. Thanks for letting me back in. We shall destroy you. I'm doing the arcade with Marvin. See Marvin the Martian. He's pretty fun. I just I just like the dude. I'm still surprised that the only time it ever worked for Charles to just charge into something was literally a spaceship in a space station. Like, out of all places to do something like that, that's the one place you would never want to do. Because you get sucked uh, down into space. This is the greatest plan. Fail. I don't want to play VR, not right now. Something in the way. Golden, Ryza, I just invited y'all. Oh, oh. I got something. I mean, a uh, arcade thing. Yay. I just, I can... I'm getting online right now. And now I can get that out of my head. All right, I am downloading Multiverse. Something in the way by Nirvana? Yeah, something oh. in the way. Hey, Def. What up? What have you done? <laughs> oh, God, that was louder <laughs> than I expected. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> what, what have you, you done? done? <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? 
He didn't even Martian, have to do the Martian. He didn't even have to do the Christian Bale voice. He just needed to do his angry Robert Pattinson voice. It works. What have you done? Neither of those two will ever match up to the amazing voice work that was Kevin Conroy. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Kevin Conroy was the goat. Rest in peace. God yeah. bless Kevin. Yeah, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. God damn you, cancer. Fuck I cancer. still cannot believe that he was gay. I did not know that. Why is that such a no, big deal? I didn't either. No, 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 a... not, not, not the fact that it's a big deal. It's just that literally didn't, that just literally surprised me. Yeah, same. Like, no, I don't have a problem if he's gay, if he was gay. Like, well, if he's, if he was... I wouldn't, I, like, I didn't assume that it's a problem. It's just, oh, cool, he was gay? It's like, yeah. Like, uh, like, I... Well, the like, thing I, is that he... Go ahead. I mean, the thing... I was going to say, well, the thing is, like, you look at him and he doesn't... He just doesn't seem well, gay. It's the fact that, like, the, one of the most uber-manly characters of all time is played by a gay man, and that's pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, I, I guess it's sort of similar to, like, Robert How um, Rob of, like, um, what was it? Uh, Judas Priest. Like, you wouldn't think that he himself was gay, too. And yet he is. It's similar with uh, Kevin. I did not expect that, but that still makes it pretty amazing. God, and they're still selling that fucking Batman. There's ready for like Marvin. Of course you would bring Marvin in this shit. He's my I mean, friend. Are you surprised? He's we just a dude. Marvin is life. Are we waiting for Ryza? It says guys... in here, but but there's a bot. You know what? Yeah, that's true. Start. Well, I wasn't sure how long you were gonna be in a uh, arcade mode. You know okay. that's fair. I was just doing whatever until like, cause like I honestly I wanted to get Solar and Vlad in, <laughs> but I think they've just been busy recently. It's like, ah, oh, come on, this would make one hell of a night. Oh, and also Rip Jason, David Frank. Yeah, that was... Oh, I remember I mean, hearing yeah. news about that. I'm like, oh, God. That made me cry. That was devastating. Like, I remember hearing the news and going, wait, he's dead? Fuck, man. And then hearing afterwards, oh, he took his own life. Oh, wait, I'm like, happened? oh, fuck, dude. It's another example of Robin Williams and Chester Bennington because you see how he acted, like in front of a camera or with fans. He was so happy, he was so energetic.